let him go. I... I understand you. You had a chance to let me die, and you didn't take it. <laughs> I bet right now you're wishing you had. I've killed... a lot of people. <laughs> I brought the city to its knees, crippled the police force, and it's not even time to unwrap our presents! <laughs> Stupid! Let's do this. Okay, okay. So, what our friend Vane holds in his hand is a heart monitor. Once he clamps it on, every beat of his bacon little heart will charge the battery on this electric chair. And when it's fully charged... So either you kill Bane... <laughs> no, I won't kill him. But you will. You will fight me with all your resolve, or you will die. Someone is going to die. You, me, or the clown. The question of which one of us it is, is in your hands. When that chair goes off, that's 2,000 volts. You won't make it. You don't need to. <laughs> Jim, 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 Jim. Have a seat, Jimbo. We'll fry together like two little potato latkes. I, I got a pulse. I'm going to jumpstart your heart. Kill you again. <laughs> May you find the peace in death that you did not find in life. I'm not looking for peace. My shot gloves to temporarily stop Bane's heart. My only hope. And the beats just keep on coming. Come on, that's killer! 
game is over, Joker. Let Captain Gordon go. Yeah, put the gun down, freak. How about I put you down? Gordon! Well, that's the Christmas spirit. <laughs> well, I'd love to stay and celebrate your victory, but I've got stockings to stuff, mistletoe to hang, and about 15 skyscrapers to blow up before sunrise. Ciao! <laughs> Thank God you had your vest on. He's got my gun! Gordon, Joseph, I need your help to stop the Joker. Our help? You're the so-called vigilante. Or is one kill enough for you tonight? Bane's in cardiopulmonary arrest. I have only minutes to resuscitate him before it's too late. You mean, you didn't? That's not how I do things. Now go.
It's over, Alfred. I've defeated Bane. Secure, and it appears the TN1 Bane took damaged his memory permanently. Ah, does that mean he won't be revealing your identity? Looks that way. Glad to hear it, sir. And the Joker? He's still on the loose, but not for long. This is Captain Gordon at Black A Prison, requesting immediate medevac. Warden Joseph has been shot. Repeat, Warden Joseph is down. EMT chopper en route. ETA 15 minutes. Tell them to hurry up! Where's Gordon? Sniper! Would you locals back for more? I've met enough of you for one night. Not yet, you haven't. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Screw this! Want the Joker? Take him. Help me keep these guys off the warden. Where'd he come from? Joker. He went through that door. Towards the chapel. Thanks. a sentence you might learn something you might learn that we're not so different you might learn something about yourself you need to learn to shut up you know it's sad really makes me feel like you don't care to see the good side in me well i guess learning is a lot to ask from you meat for brains There's still hope for you. <laughs> yes. Oh, I've got great hopes for you. So come on. Do stop now. What are you waiting for? <laughs> you just can't. 
then get it through your thick skull. Ugh. We both exist because of them! Give up! You've lost! to stop me! <laughs> Any one of my guys would have killed him. The city deserves better than that. You know, my daughter thinks you're a hero. But I still have to bring you in. Gordon, come in. What's your 20? I'm in the chapel. We got the Joker. Son of a bitch. You caught him. And how did you do that? I had some help. I keep asking myself why I didn't bring him in. And I now know the truth is, I let him go because of you. Because you believe in him. I don't know. They put me in charge of a station full of rotten cops. And I can't change them any more than I can change this damn city. Or at least, that's what I used to think. is hot. That is funny. <laughs> Good one, Bats. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. Maybe, maybe I can give them something to believe in. Maybe he can give them something to believe in. So hard, my dear, to show that you're my every dream. Yet you're afraid each thing I do is just some evil scheme. <laughs> A memory from your lonesome past keeps us so far apart. Why can't I free your doubtful mind and melt your cold, cold heart? Another crime before my time made your heart 
sad and blue. And so now you make me pay for things I didn't do. In anger, unkind words are said that make the teardrops start. Why can't I free your doubtful mind and melt your cold, cold heart? You'll never know how much it hurts to never see you smile. You know you need and want to laugh, <laughs> yet you claim it's not your style. Why do you hide behind that mask? I'm trying to do my part. Why can't I free your doubtful mind and melt your cold? There was a time when I believed that you belonged to me. But now I know your heart is shackled to a memory. You won't admit that we're the same and it's tearing me apart! Why can't I free your doubtful mind and melt your cold, cold heart? <laughs> <laughs> Our next guest, political strategist Dean Snyder, has been following tonight's events since the start, more than eight hours ago. Dr. Snyder, let's start with you. What's your view? Well, Jack, it's a travesty. The ultimate failing of the justice system. A vigilante cleaning up our streets after countless deaths and bombings? What has happened to our police force? What about James Gordon? He didn't exactly prove himself tonight. Hold on a minute, Dean. Now, I'm no defender of the GCPD or Captain Gordon, for that matter. Like you said, tonight's debacle is some reflection of his efficacy, but I can't see any police force in any municipality doing a substantially better job against criminals like this Joker character or any of the hired killers he's brought into town. I mean, these guys are a different breed. We've never seen anything like this. So for me, it's less a reflection on Gotham's cops and more of a reflection on the state of our country. A country where our mental health and education systems are so warped and broken that we produce criminals of this nature. You raise an interesting point, Hank, but what I'm wondering is what we'll do next. No, it's not an interesting point. It's just plain wrong. They're both wrong. This isn't about the police or the Batman. It isn't about the state of our nation somehow churning out a dangerous new batch of the criminally deranged. It's about the failing of one single institution. An institution which, in my view, represents the biggest threat to Gotham and its citizens. A time bomb, just waiting to go off. If tonight's events have taught us anything, it's that Blackgate is not the place to be housing our city's most dangerous offenders. Not one, but two prison breaks in the same night. All of tonight's tragedies would have been avoided if Gotham had a proper treatment facility for its top echelon offenders. A place with impenetrable security, where the most dangerous could be isolated, rehabilitated, and treated for their illness. A place like Arkham Asylum. And after what happened tonight, I promise the good people of Gotham that I will work tirelessly. I will lobby the city council, go to the governor if I have to, do everything in my power to get Arkham Asylum reopened. So we can all sleep a little easier. There you have it. Quincy Sharp placing the blame for tonight's events not on the Batman, not on the Joker, but on Blackgate Prison, and pledging to return Arkham Asylum to full operations. We'll be back with more from Mr. Sharp and our other guests when the Jack Ryder Hour continues after this message. <laughs>
figured you'd be by sooner or later. And what happens if I don't sign? You rot in here, or you work for me. It's been a long night, Alfred. Why don't you turn in? Wouldn't dream of it, sir. Not until you're back safe and sound. Well, if you're sure you're up for it, I've got a few loose ends to tie up out here. And I could use your help. You can count on it. And when you get home, we can finally have that Christmas dinner I've been keeping warm for you, for our breakfast.